hello and uh, welcome back to the Southampton save. Today we've got two games for you, one against St Etienne in the Europa Cup and the other is against Burnley in the Premier League. So since you were last with me, it's been a bit mixed. We lost to Bournemouth in the EFL in the third round, uh, we don't really too bother about that. We lost to Chelsea, a very late goal, they scored in the 91st minute and that was a bit, a bit bitter. Uh, we lost to Rostov and I don't know how we lost to Rostov but we did. Um, which means today against St Etienne we have to win in order to keep our European uh, hopes alive. Uh, but we came back with a win against West Brom 1-0 and a win against Everton 2-0. So that puts us in fifth in the league. So we're in good stead in the league. It's just the, the Euro Cup that we need to be winning in. And we have to win today. Otherwise I'm saying goodbye to the European football for this season. So the team for today's lineup is uh, the back four of Bertrand, Jose Fonte, Van Dijk and Basilio. Classy and Ward Prowse make the middle. Uh, it's the attacking three have changed a little bit. Uh, Rodriguez is whinging a bit, so he's come in today. Tadic has moved over to the middle as uh, Buchel's come back from injury and he's playing on the left. And uh, of course we've got Moreno up front. Oh, apparently we're favourites for today's game, which is pretty good. Uh, I mean, we need to be, if we want to be winning the game and uh, progressing in Europe. We need to show that we can do things. Uh, okay, I'm going to go assertive. I want to pick it where you left off from last time. A few players seem motivated, which is good. Right, we kick off. And hopefully we can get an early goal to settle the nerves down. Because after two defeats in the European Cup, they're going to be nervous. They're going to be... Well, I, you know, I'd, I'd imagine they'll be quite low morale. But Moreno's got the ball on the edge of the area. Plays to Rodriguez. He plays to Tadic. He scores! Fantastic. That's what I said. Early goal. We needed it. We needed this. Do some Tadic. Oh, that's a bit of a weight off my shoulders because I was getting worried. Oh, I'm glad about that. I can sort of settle down now. Right. Let's hope they, they don't really do much now. I hope we can just sort of take control of the game, shut down St. Etienne, we're one, link, one nil up. All we need is to do is win. Ward Prowse hits the crossbar from distance from that free kick, that was fantastic. Buffal picks it up. Jose Fonte doesn't really do much. There we go, that's the end of the highlight. Oh. What's this then? Winning our fair share of headers, okay. Let's pump it into the box. And uh, let's work the ball into the box as well, that seems to be contradictory of each other but we'll just click them both and see what happens I usually do that with assistant manager you know he's watching the game more than I'm I suppose and that's Dimitar Berbatov with a header there Forster collects it though he's now the England first choice goalkeeper actually he's over the last international period he was playing all the games so that's good for me at least you know having a international goalkeeper Adebayor though oh, that's annoying it's his first goal of the season for St Etienne as well as a commentary says, Fraser Forster is beaten far too easily at his near post in the kickoff, but the highlight started again, so this must mean we're going to score. Whenever this happens, whenever a team scores and from kickoff is a highlight, that automatically means you're going to score, and that, that has happened. Moreno, fantastically. That's his sixth goal of the season already, blimey, he's doing well this season. Um, that's why we signed him, that's why I paid so much money for him, he's, he's delivering the goods. Jay Rodriguez, though, with the two, two assists, and he's got the ball now. Goes to Ward Prowse. Goes to Buffal. I'm not quite sure what happened then, who got the shot away, but we hit the post and it's gone out for a corner. We'll take that. This is the attacking football that we want. Tadic for the corner. Headed away by Pogba for another corner. Obviously not Paul Pogba. Maybe it's his brother. I don't know. Has he got a brother? I think he does actually. Maybe, maybe. And he's French, I suppose. And oh, cleared off the line there. Blimey. We're playing some good attacking football, this. I mean, if only we could. Do this against Rostov and we played awful. Blimey. Fiorentina, they are taking the lead against Rostov just now. Ideally, I want them to draw because that means that, you know, we're equally as far away from them. Whereas if Fiorentina carry on winning, then we've only really got Rostov to catch because if Fiorentina win, I reckon they're going to win the group and run away with it now. Um, however, I've, I'm, if we get a win today, I'm confident we can beat Rostov. Confident we can beat St. Etienne again and if we can just get a result against Fiorentina, I reckon we should be safe and go through to the next round, which would be handy because the board want me to get there and I want to keep my job. Can we get a goal just before half time? Gerard plays it to 
Tadic. We're running around a little bit, Cape de Buffon. Brings it back to Classy, Ward Prowse. Back to Classy, Tadic, nice passing play here, Buffon. To Gerard Moreno. Back to Classy, he's, he's had a lot of the ball recently. Buffon, Moreno. Oh, that's close. That was good football from Southampton, as the commentary just said. Uh, we've got the corner though, still on the high right. Ward Prowse is going to put this one in. Sperritz clears the ball away. Vasilio picks it up. And that's the end of the highlights. That's half time. I'm happy with that, actually. Um, cautious. Unless they don't get complacent, we need to get this win. Jay Rodriguez has lost all confidence, apparently, even though he's been our best player on the pitch and got two assists. But I think that's gone into their heads that we need to just <laughs> calm down a little bit and. I reckon the pitch has just changed. We've got a snowy pitch and the ball's gone orange. Why am I just imagining that if it just changed? Was it like that before? I can't remember now. I'm, I'm really not sure. But If we can just hold on now. When I say hold on, we've been in control. We've had most possession. We've, we've had more shots. We've had more clear-cut chances. I think we should be comfortable. I might bring it down to the defensive in a little bit. I might, I might bring Cahill on. Van Dyke's on a yellow card. I don't want anyone to get sent off. Cahill's going to come on. <sighs> Jordan Class is not the best game, even though. Well, I don't know. I've not been watching that one, have I? Jordan Class is going to come off as well. Get some experience on. So De Chilio plays it to Rodriguez, who plays it to Tadic, plays it to Moreno, plays it to Warprouse, who gets tackled. It's just going to go to the back. Ah, oh, now they're breaking. And this is what we didn't want. We just want them to play it safe and Berbatov scores. Oh no. Right, in this case, we're going to go attacking. Well, it lets me go to win team instructions. Has tempo, I want a higher tempo. And there's no point telling us now that he's an aerial threat. You know, we could have done that with 10 minutes ago maybe. And we would have uh, would have done better because a draw won't be good enough. I don't think. I'm worried that a draw just won't be good enough, and we won't be able to progress. We have to win today against that from going overload. <coughs> I'm going to go take more risks. I'm going to just be more expressive with your play as well. Adebayor is a threat aerially as well. Yep. Thanks for letting me know that, Eric Black could do with that at the start of the game maybe and say oh let's not let him get any headers please Southampton they've got the ball but it's played to Tadic who plays it to Moreno who's through he's, he's skipped past the defenders has a shot oh, but it's saved by the keeper come on it was a bad shot as well it seems to go very slow on the screen oh no press on oh, it's not going to happen really now is it oh, it's a bit, bit slow with that Moreno, Tadic, we're going to bring on Charleston as well. It's a deep line forward apparently. For the last five minutes and just see if we can get anything out of this game. Please. Otherwise our European hopes are dashed I reckon. But they're on the attack and they're... Oh, oh no, oh no. We're out of Europe boys. And girls, if you're watching, but after such a good start to that game, and I told them not to get complacent, and they have. We've now gone and lost that. I mean, there's still a chance, but we have to win every single game. Oh, they've scored another, just to add insult to injury. Um, oh, I'm not very happy with that at all. I don't really know what to say. I feel a bit bereft now. Oh dear me. Doesn't really matter what we do now. There's the final whistle. And uh, I think that is probably going to be the end of our uh, European journey this season. Okay, so we're playing Burnley now. Uh, we've got two changes in the lineup. Cahill's come in at centre back. And uh, Romero's come back from an injury to go in the middle. 
hopefully this is going to be enough to take the win against Burnley. Should be an easier side really than um, than St Etienne, but I'm still bitter off that loss because we really needed to be. In fact, I'm going to go aggressive at the start of this game because I'm just feeling a bit a bit a bit angry and annoyed at them from last game. And they've got the kick off. Andre Gray takes it, and I've just made the mistake of saying Andre Gray because that means he's going to score now, uh, as it is with every time you identify a, a striker from the other team pre-match or in the match rather as well. But no, I've spoken about him. Andre Gray has moved his way up the leagues pretty nicely, to be fair, and uh, him in the the conference to lead to him doing all kind of bits, and then he's moved his way up to the Premier League. He's done well for himself. I'm a big fan of him and his, the way he plays. Uh, hopefully he doesn't play well against us today though. Hopefully he uh, he misses some, some clear cut chances and scores an own goal. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be nice. And We're on the back foot against Burnley. Although saying that, Gerrard's about to score a goal. I keep seeing Gerrard on the screen but it's Gerrard Moreno. I keep calling him Moreno sometimes and Gerard sometimes. I need to sort of just pick one and stick with it. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just call them both Gerard Moreno. I just keep saying that. I bet Andre Gray's got the ball now and they're breaking. And I don't like the look of us at all. Once they attack and we attack and they attack again, that's usually a goal for them, surely. Is that Joe Ward on the wing? Andre Gray has scored. What did I say? I identify a man, they're gonna score. His goal of the season, to be fair, he's doing well for himself in the Premier League. That's decent. He's moved down to sixth in the league. He's behind Bournemouth now. They don't even like us, blimey. And Sunderland are up to second in the league. I don't know how they're doing this. I mean, I want to know what, what their manager's doing for them. Andre Gray's making things happen today. You don't say. Hmm. We need to make improvements in the second half, otherwise I'm getting a bit, a bit concerned. Because we need to be beating teams like... If we want to be in the European spots again this year, finishing top six, Burnley are a team we need to be strolling past, really. I'm a bit scared they're going to score now. We're looking a bit vulnerable at the back, just bunching up player-wise and letting them have the space in the wing. Oh, we have scored another as well. That's well annoying. George Boyd. We've got a bit of a mountain to climb now in the second half. This is disappointing. We have been outplayed here. Quite, quite literally outplayed. Possession and shots. Right. I'm just going to let Black take it. He can do it. Moreno, you've been rubbish. I've got faith in you though, but you've not reacted to that very well. I want to make him up here a little bit. Also, I keep forgetting to do with it like half time. I'm going to switch it to attacking. We need to be getting the ball up there doing something with it at least creating some some more chances than four shots Burnley have taken the game to us and this is just not good enough they're all over us they're just passing it through us there we go Andre Gray's going to score another now you can tell what did I say Andre Gray scored another we're 3-0 down to bloody Burnley Take more risks. Come on. Be more expressive. High tempo. I mean, I'm not quite sure how we're going to... Oh, they've all played terrible. Um, where do I find Charlie Austin? Bring him on. Make him a... Uh oh, they've just scored another as well while I've been doing this. Oh, that is so annoying I don't know what we've gone what's gone wrong with us today well, I'm not even thinking straight well while I'm bringing him on I need to take off uh, James Ward Prowse who's been pretty useless bring on Pierre and oh, there's not much I can do Shane Long's gonna have to come on for Tadic and go up front as well let's see if we can actually do anything defensive forward come on mate 
this is a bit embarrassing really this has got to go on YouTube people are going to think I'm rubbish I'm not I promise you know we've had some good results so far this season it's just today has been awful and now the midfield has been outnumbered apparently I don't really know what to do about that oh they've got an injury I thought it was us then I got even more annoyed because we've had a bit of an injury crisis at the club um, because that means Shane Long's on the bench and I mean you know he's not my first choice on the bench let alone in the squad and although if he scores now no he's not obviously but if he's if he scored then I might have changed my mind and given him a few more chances Gary Cahill by the way before this match was asking to play more games that's why I put him in the squad and he's not proved himself to be any decent this game so uh, but don't worry because Latin Ibrahimovic has scored for United against City. Oh, I don't know what to say. This episode's been a bit rubbish, hasn't it? We've just been awful. I'm a bit embarrassed to put this on the internet, really, but I'm going to have to. Right, full time. I'm going to try and turn things around. Maybe change change tactics slightly. Hmm. Well, if you somehow did enjoy that, watching me take a battering, make sure you give us a like. Make sure you subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time.